Now the first step is to verify the game file. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to restart Steam. So go to Steam, exit and then type in Steam. Make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator and then check. Still not working. Try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working. Then this time you can type in dash DX12 and then launch the game still not working. You can remove this and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for Nvidia. So to perform a clean installation, go to Nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view and then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to now amd card users can go to amd website First of all, uninstall the current graphic card driver, restart your computer and then go to AMD website, select your graphic card, install the latest driver and then again restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings, click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. So if the game installed in C drive, this is the location. If you have the game on Steam, if you have the game on E app, in that case, you can open program files and then open EA games and over here you will find the game. In my case, it's in program file 686 and then Steam, Steam apps, common and then open the game folder, split folder, binaries, Win64, select this exe file and then find the game in the list. Now once you find the game, you can click on the game and then for GPU preference, select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here. Now launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, you go to the game installation folder and then open this folder binaries win64 and then Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check, still not working. This time you can put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check, still not working. In that case, this time you can select Windows 7 over here and then you can hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, then you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK and follow the next step. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, click on update and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom. You will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. 
click on add and allow app click on browse all apps go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open now type in control panel and then go to system and security windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings allow another app click on browse and again go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case the game is already added now once the game is added over here once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to delete the settings file so for this you can go to file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive now open the users folder username folder open app data folder if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder local folder open split fiction folder and then you will see this settings local settings and settings dot split you can just copy this if you want to create a backup you can create a backup once you have a backup now you can make a right click and you can delete this file and once this is deleted now you can launch the game still not working in that case you can rename or delete the save game files create a backup first because once you rename or delete the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch now for this uh, you can simply uh, make a right click on this game and uh, game folder and then you can rename it to dot old or whatever you want rename it and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website install these visual files so scroll down click on x86 and x64 you have to download both x86 and x64 and run both the exe files so click on it if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 also download this x86 so if you see repair click on repair if you see install hit install and let the installation complete once both installed you can close this and then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version for this you can open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game update your windows to version 24h2 which is the latest version right now so whichever is the latest version you have to install it in my case it's version 24h2 this is the latest version you can install it and then launch the game md users can install this md optional update that is md 25.2.1 and then go to md website you can search in google and then go download this file once the download is complete you can run this exe file and then install it restart your computer and then launch the game you can even try to install this md 25.1.1 exe uh, sorry uh, this option update go to md website and then you can install this and then restart your computer and then check next step is to try debug mode in nvidia control panel make a right click on the desktop show more option nvidia control panel once nvidia control panel is open at the top left you will see the help option so click on help and then select debug mode so if this is unchecked you can put a check and once you have the debug mode selected now you can launch the game and then check next step is to close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI after burner running or revert tuner running, sometimes we have revert tuner or MSI after burner running and it is hidden. So if it is hidden like this, so you can go make a right click on MSI after burner, close it, make a right click on revert tuner, close it, or close any other overclocking application. Also disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to in general tab, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. If you have Discord running, turn off overlay in Discord. If you have NVIDIA app or GeForce experience running, in that case, you can just go to 
in nvidia app go to settings turn off this nvidia overlay and then launch the game or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also if you have any kind of razor application or software running close it next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number update the latest bios in case of laptop make sure battery is battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected and after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected if you have any kind of uh, like if you have extra controller connected disconnected sometimes we have a usb dongle connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party services or application running close it next step is to skip you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game but if you are able to launch the game try window mode lower down resolution and lower down graphics settings and then check the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can make a right click manage uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive e drive or f drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel